So I'm sitting here with Missy Smith, and we've decided that it would be a good idea to create a joint extracurricular calendar to help people organize their meetings after school and make sure there are no conflicts. So what she did is she set up an extracurricular calendar, and she's going to be inviting all of the advisors to clubs in the high school to join that calendar. Once she does that, the extracurricular calendar is going to appear here on the left-hand side of your page where it says extracurricular calendar. Mine's green. Yours probably will be a different color. If you don't like the color of it, you can switch it to any color just by clicking the three dots. That's really up to you. Um, one of the things that I do, whoops, let me X out of that. One of the things that I like to do if I am looking at a calendar is turn off or hide from view other calendars so I don't get confused. So for instance, the top calendar in your Google Calendar is always your own personal school calendar. Um, it's the default color is purple. So mine's here at the top. It says my name and I'm just going to click and turn it off by unchecking the box. And what will that do is hide it from view. It doesn't make it go away. It's not gone forever. It just hides it from view. So now all I see is my extracurricular calendar. So in order to create a calendar event, it's pretty simple. You just click and drag and you can create a calendar event. Just add your title and it'll be on the extracurricular calendar. So if I want to put something like Key Club here, I can put it there. I can even add something where it gives me um, an explanation of what we're doing there. Maybe I'm um, maybe I'm electing officers, whatever I'm doing. If I want to add more options, for instance, if I know I have Key Club every Thursday at 3 o'clock, I just click More Options, and I can actually go up here, and I can click a Repeat. So I can say Weekly every Thursday, and then it'll just appear every Thursday there, and I don't have to add it in every week, which is kind of a nice feature to have. So I'm going to save into that and keep it right like that. Now, let's say... Um, I have two calendars. I actually have a key club calendar that I am giving to the students and I have this extracurricular calendar and it's the same stuff on both. I don't have to go into each separate calendar and create a calendar uh, separately for each one. Once I create it in one calendar, all I have to do is hover over it and I write, nope, I click on it and this menu will pop up. I go to the three dots in the upper right corner, and in it will have options. These are all of the other calendars I have. So I can go in here and I can find my Key Club calendar and I can click it and it will be in that calendar. Maybe I wanna put it in my own personal calendar. I can put it there. You can do this and add it to any calendar you want. So if you start with your club calendar, and then you decide that you want to add it to the extracurricular calendar, that's all you have to do is you have to go into your existing calendar, just click it, the box will come up, click the three dots, and then add it to the calendar, uh, the second calendar that you'd like it to add to. And you can do this as many times as you want with as many calendars as you like. So this is a great tool. It'll really help you figure out who has uh, clubs going on, and hopefully it'll help your scheduling a little bit more. If you have any questions about this, let me know, and I am happy to help.